y'all, it's Paige and uh, KrugerFarms.com Tournament Bass Fisher Michaela here today. And we're talking a little bit about jigs and different types of options you have when fishing jigs and uh, in what type of situations you would choose the right jigs because there's so many options out there. So show us a little bit what you have in your tackle box. And Well, right now we're sitting in a big reed patch. So we've been uh, flipping jigs today. So that's just a heavier weight and they have more of a pointed head just so you can get through the weeds. We like to use them up here in the north in reeds and milfoil. Down south, you can flip them in lily pads and milfoil as well, you know, down on those tournaments. I think you showed me this one earlier. Yeah, so. this is what we've been using all day today. And um, I mean, the brush guard just keeps it weedless. I mean, you're still gonna get stuck now and then, but with this bait, I like to use like braided lines so you can just rip those fish out because you're mainly fishing really heavy cover and this is a good year-round bait doesn't matter what time of year awesome and I haven't gotten stuck yet so I'm doing good yes you are <laughs> and, uh, another one of my favorite jigs is a swim jig and this is um you use it where you'd use a crankbait but then where you can't use a crankbait so in thick cover like this you can throw it you know in the patches of reed and they're a little smaller this gives it a different presentation. Usually looks like a bait fish. This one here is uh, meant to look like a sunfish with the purple. And then if uh, you're out of this thick cover, you can use a football head jig. With this jig, you just roll it across the rocks and you feel the, uh, the bottom and just meant to look like a crayfish they're feeding. Okay, and you have all these different colors. How in the world do you decide which one to use? Well, it's tough. A lot of it has to do with the water color. So in clear water, you're gonna want, you know, more of a natural presentation. Um, brighter colors work well, you know, in dark stained water. Black and blue is pretty much a good color anywhere you go. Well, there you go. There's your tips on fishing with jigs, and uh, good luck next time you go out. And we'll see you at KrugerFarms.com.